everyone welcome back in this session we are going to discuss about the escape velocity so when we can say that a body can escape from the gravitational field so to escape from the gravitational field definitely a body should have a minimum velocity that minimum velocity is called as escape velocity see in general we may observe that if you throw any stone up what happened to that stone again it will come back so that means uh, that velocity is not the escape velocity for that object to escape from the gravitational field so one should throw with the minimum velocity such that the body should escape from the gravitational field of the planet so that is called as escape velocity the minimum velocity required for a body or an object to escape from the gravitational field so that is called as escape velocity and we will see the derivation for the escape velocity and escape velocity is indicated with ve uh, and we know that gravitational potential of a body gravitational potential of a body on the surface of the earth or the surface of the planet is given as v equal to minus gm by r and if you consider the gravitational potential energy that is given as minus g m m by r see and to body which is the body which is having the minimum velocity to escape from the gravitational field it will have kinetic energy as well as potential energy and this kinetic energy of the body should be equal to the potential energy of the body then uh, it will have the certain minimum velocity to escape from the uh, gravitational field so for that what we will do is we know that and what is this gravitational potential energy of the system what is the gravitational potential energy of the system what we have to consider is we have to consider the planet and we have to consider the body which is escaping from that planet so for that system this is the gravitational potential energy and now what should be equal the potential energy and kinetic energy of the body should be equal we know that the kinetic energy is half m here ve e we will take half mv square and that is equal to so if you take this two as a system we will get minus as the gravitational potential is minus negative so minus of minus gm by r so what we will have is v e square equal to this two will go here so 2 g m as the smaller and smaller will get cancelled by r so escape velocity v equal to square root of 2 g m by r so the escape velocity of a body depends on these parameters Gra axel, uh, sorry universal gravitational constant capital g and mass of the planet and radius of the planet so by basing on these parameters we can find out the escape velocity that means the minimum velocity required for a body to escape from the planet's gravitation and now we know that the relation between small g small g and uh, capital G is g equal to gm by r square and g r equal to gm by r that means if you place this gm by r with this gr we will get escape velocity v equal to root over 2 gr or this in this way also we can uh, uh, have the minimum velocity which is required to escape from the gravitational field that is the gravity on the planet and the radius of the planet if you know these two parameters we can say the escape velocity of a certain body to escape from the planet's gravitational field and now if you consider the uh, 
our ears ears uh, escape velocity escape velocity of earth is equal to ve equal to 11.2 km per second so if any body is projected with that 11.2 km per second then definitely the body will escape from the gravitational field see if you consider the earth this is a earth and this is a field of the earth and if any body is projected with this 11.2 km per second then definitely it will be out of this it can escape from the gravitational field if it is in the field definitely it will come back again if it is out of the field again it won't come back that means it escaped from the gravitational pull so that is the escape velocity of earth escape velocity of moon escape velocity of moon is 2.38 km per second this is the escape velocity of moon and coming to the escape velocity of sun escape velocity of sun is 42 km per second so if any body is uh, having a such velocity 42 km per second then only it can escape from the sun's gravitational field so these are some gravitational fields and now coming to the if you consider the escape velocity of moon see if you see the escape velocity of moon that is 2.38 km per second and we heard that there is no atmosphere on the moon see uh, a long long ago uh, the uh, moon is also having or it is containing the atmosphere but now it is not having any atmosphere the reason is the root the velocity of the uh, molecules root mean square velocity that we will consider as root mean square root mean square velocity of air molecules air molecules is greater than the escape velocity of the molecules that means the escape velocity is 2.38 the root mean square velocity of air molecules uh, which is present on the moon surface is greater than this so due to that Uh, they are very easily escaped from the atmosphere. Uh, sorry, moon's gravity, as well as moon is a, a satellite. It is also having a mass. So the attraction of uh, bodies is due to masses. So moon also can attract uh, masses, and it can also attract the atmosphere. Our Earth is also attracting the atmosphere. So due to that only we are able to survive on the Earth. but whereas moon in long ago it has atmosphere but due to the root mean square velocity of air molecules these uh, uh, velocity of air molecules is greater than the well uh, escape velocity of moon so due to that the air molecules or atmosphere is escaped from the moon so now the moon is not having any atmosphere on its surface so this is about escape velocity it is the minimum velocity required for a body to escape from the planet gravitational field so that is called as escape velocity thank you